Happy Saturday, YouTube. I hope you guys are all having a great weekend. You know, I wanted to get on here today and talk about Assurance IQ. And in 2019, you know, they rocked the insurance world when they sold out to Prudential for $3.5 billion. And shortly after that, you know, I was interviewed by Coverager really just to ask me my thoughts and to learn more about our telephone operation. So we went ahead and did it. And if you didn't read that article, I'll go ahead and post it in the comment section here so you can read it. But basically what me and Avi talked about was about persistency mainly and obviously a few other details. But it was all about persistency. And he asked me what I thought. And you know, for me, being on the telephone all these years and working for carriers that were either implementing telephone sales or learning it for the first time, all walks of life in the insurance business over 10 years have always been nervous about persistency. And it's valid. But you know, our persistency has always been solid. And that's one of the reasons Avi reached out to me because he knew that. He knew that we held great persistency. But you know, as I thought about, you know, the, the sale of Assurance IQ, it, for me, it was a victory because here was a call center organization using technology to make sales, which is amazing. You know, persistency is the name of the game. Carriers don't care if you can write a bunch of business, but if it falls off faster than you can write it, they don't want nothing to do with you. And for us, you know, when we work for, for a new carrier, they would cap us at like 50 apps a week or 100 a week. It's ridiculous because again, the persistency issue. Now, fast forward to 2021 from that day, I've had a lot of agents personally reaching out to me due to that interview. Agents that are currently working at Assurance IQ or have worked at Assurance IQ and they're reaching out to me because they know I provide a life transfer solution and they also know that I have the carrier relationships. That's why they reach out to me. And when they do, I've been able to ask questions. I've been able to see what exactly it is that some of these agents at Assurance IQ are doing. And it's impressive. The number one thing that really shocks me is just how fast their closing process is. I mean, they're going through hundreds of phone calls every day from all quality levels, a lead's a lead, closing, you know, a, a percentage of all those calls, but they're doing it in such a manner that's so fast. Think about that. And that right there, in my humble opinion, is why these agents that struggle with persistency issues, that's why they have it. The way they sell the product is too fast and the clients eventually get cold feet. A secondary reason is the fact that those agents don't do any of their follow-up. So they're just money-making, selling machines, and then somebody else is doing the retention. But regardless of who's doing the retention, if your business is still falling off the, bit, the, the books faster than you can write it, how are you winning? How? And I'm telling you, many agents have reached out. So I wanted to put this message out there 
to Assurance IQ agents. If you're looking for an opportunity, if you're looking for a platform that provides live transfers, give me a call. We represent a handful of A-rated final expense carriers that are very competitive. And more than anything, we have a training program that works. And more importantly, it works because you're going to keep that client paying longer. Our retention as a group, and my agency is 76 agents. We're averaging 85% first year retention as a group. And we're right in business. And this is years and years of selling. We don't take five, eight minutes to make a sale. Nope. We're at the close at 20 minutes. You must understand that when you're selling final expense, you're going to take your time. You're going to create an experience with your client that's positive. So that way, when you get off that phone call, that client knows exactly what they purchase. And they're not going to cancel on you. Again, what good is it to write a bunch of business if it's falling off faster than you can write it? It's not. And, and I've seen some pretty scary stuff from some of these agents coming from Assurance IQ in terms of the chargeback balances to the point where they can't even, you know, continue working. They either got to go borrow money to stay in the game or they got to pay or they got to work through all those chargebacks and eventually those agents move on. That sucks. So, you know, the insurance business is not easy. But if you learn how to do it right, it's very rewarding. You know, this year marks 18 years since I started my career and it's been the best decision I ever made in my life. So again, if you're finding yourself naked sales or maybe you're working at a different call center and you're dealing with chargebacks, give me an opportunity to show you what we're doing, how we're selling, how we're following up. We do our own follow-up. We don't put our follow-up in a department. Nope, we do it. Because we're the best ones to handle that. Give me a call. If you currently find yourself in that situation, let's go to work. So with that said, guys, you enjoy your weekend. See you guys at the top. Peace.